Alright, hi everyone, and welcome to my second episode. You can see from selling all my items, I got quite an amount of money, almost a million. So now I'm gonna upgrade some items. So I go to the armor shop, buy some helmets and shields, and I try to upgrade them. Plus six, come on, yes! I don't have that. Alright, plus six will do. Okay, let's try the armors. Plus five. Plus six, come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, well. one plus six. Let's go for the shield. Plus six. All right. Okay, I don't have beer gall plus. All right, that will do. Also, some strength earrings. Always helps with a warrior. Okay, let's go back to map two. So you see, these creeps don't even damage me that much at all. I have 142 defense, so I can just auto hunt and level up. Here is the armor or the equipment I use once again, if you want to see. Okay, so now I'm level 20. I'm gonna see if I can get this at 17. It doesn't matter as much now because I'm gonna switch from mental to body warrior. Ah, I will level 18. Oh, never mind. But you need to switch before level 30. Here. At Stable Boy, you can extend the shelf, uh, the life of it by seven days by dragging this to him. Push to seven days. And now you'll have your free horse for seven more days. By level 16 and, I don't know, 23, you can go here to the Monkey Dugan Dungeon. Monkey Dungeon in map 2, where you can get a horse medal, so you can get a real horse, not the Apilosa. So by just killing them like this, you can get a horse medal. It looks like this. And after this, I'm gonna go to the war, uh, the war guild area, which is down here. Where you can level up, you can get some nice drops. Some red iron blade, some pentagon shields. It's a good thing to have the mental skills while you're here, because they do quite a lot of damage, the animals here. So as you can see, I got a few good items. Some moonlight boxes, a red iron blade, some upgrading items. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade this. Come on. They're really hard to find these ones. Yes! Oh. Okay, let's try the other battle shield. Oh, I got a plus seven. Oh, wait. Okay, it's better than the pentagon. Let's use that. Okay, I'm gonna try upgrade my red iron blade. Just a little bit. Ooh, okay, plus two. <laughs> plus three, should I do more? And one more. Come on. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna leave it at this. <laughs> let's do another armor. Okay, plus four. All right, this will do for now. Okay, so I'm trying to kill my first Madden. Very easy. But it takes too long time, I think. So I'm actually go to the old lady in map one, press reset my skills. So now it costs quite a lot of money. But now I can go to the same guys again that I did in the last episode, and I'm gonna choose the Body Force teacher. So now I switch, I need to do this before I'm level 30, and I'm gonna put everything into Hour of Sword because it gives me damage, and damage is good. And here it's important, yes! You need to get it at 17 to go master, otherwise you have to go back to old lady and do it all over. It's very important that you get it at 17. And the rest I just put in Berserk, which gives you attack speed. That's really good. So here I used the Auto Hunt feature to level overnight to level 29. Many of you ask the Auto Hunt, the, the, there is a free version and this is the one I'm using. Uh, there is a pay, paid option as well, but I am not using that. 
Now that I switch to Arab Sword, I do much more damage to the Medins and I can Metin Hunt much more easily. Okay, let's see if we can add a Defense Stone. No. Oh well. So I use my Shaman like this to kill off the Archers at the same time. So I'm just doing this farming a lot of stones and skill books that I can sell. Here I got a passage ticket from the events. So if you want a, a real horse, not the Apelosa, you could use from level 25, you can give him your horse medal. But you have to do a mission that is on time, and then you need to go down here to kill 20 of these archers within th uh, 30 minutes. Hey, it goes pretty quickly, and then you can just return to the stable boy. Like this, and he says you can come back tomorrow. Alright, fair enough. Instead of getting this horse, because you can't hit from it, you should go into the forum, forum. you should check the events. Because every day here you can see that they have a special time limit where you can drop certificates for mounts, which you can actually hit from. So go in here, check and kill Metin Stones to, or bosses to see and try to get these mounts, because they are very good. Here, event starts. It is the White Lion Seals, which is the same thing as the Mount, basically. So here I get my first White Lion. So as you can see, now I can hit from, from the back. And it really helps with damage, it's much much good, it's much better. It goes much faster to kill. And if you get this orange stone haste, you can try to make running armor, so you can run faster. And don't forget to kill the specialist while you run around, to see if you can get some full moon swords. Right, another defense stone, come on. Oh, God damn it. Ah, oh, there we go! My first full moon sword! Ah, it was alright. Look how good it looks. Here we got an hour of sword. It's worth 6 million, kind of. And here is everything I got after farming for 2 or 3 hours. And it's quite a lot, quite a lot of money here. And I got a 5 white lion, I think, yeah. Okay, so here I'm just gonna put all my stuff onto a shop account, another character, that can sell items during the night. So here is everything. So hopefully I can sell all items, I can get a lot of money, so I can buy a full moon sword or a red iron blade, so I can replace this weapon that will eventually expire. I will lose my weapon and I'll need to find a new weapon and that's what we're gonna... that is our next goal so to say. Alright, thanks for watching!